Hi everyone, Byron Martin here at Logies. We grow a lot of citrus and some are quite unique in the way they fruit and in their form and color. This is our variegated citron or etrog and it has beautiful white and green foliage with modeling on it. And the fruit is actually somewhat small compared to many of the citrons. They're usually a little bit larger than this, but the flowering is prolific on this. You can see all the buds forming on the tips of all these branches here. And of all the plants that we've grown in the greenhouse in terms of citrus over the years, this has probably had one of the strongest root systems of any that we've grown in containers. And it's on its own roots. It's not a grafted plant that's put on something that has resistance. This plant is at least 25 to 30 years old and it's been in about that size pot for that duration we've cost pruned it back taken cuttings off of it but it has never failed us over these years with stress on the root system with leaf drop and some of the other things that plague citrus in the winter time the fruit is typical of a citron in that there's a very thick skin on it and we also have an inside pulp that is quite sour, like a lemon. As you can see here, there's quite a few seeds in it. And this actually has less of the pulp than, say, a Buddha's hand or some of the very large size etrogs or citrons. But nonetheless, it's good. You can eat the rind on it or you can also juice it in terms of eating the fruit or the juice. In terms of culture, it's like any citrus, you need a dry down period between waterings, and I can never say that enough to folks that are struggling with their citrus. They'll take it drier than they'll take it wetter. It needs a good sunny exposure. This plant here we've grown at temperatures uh, down to just above freezing, does fine at that. There's also the issues of insects, which are common among citrus, so you need to keep your eye on that. There's, of course, mealybug and scale. That's usually not a problem unless you have an infestation somewhere nearby, and they can get mites. So generally, if you have them outside in the summer, which is a great idea, they love it in the summertime, you want to give them a preventative spraying before you move them in. We do fertilize them during the summertime regularly, like all of our citrus, and that would be usually every well, we put them on constant feed here at Logies, but you can do it every week, every two weeks, granular, slow-release fertilizer. That's the time to really get them to grow, and then you want to lean them out as you get towards light, late summer and going into the fall so that you're not forcing soft growth and also soft roots. And believe it or not, really soft, heavily fed roots are more susceptible to the diseases that citrus face. But typically, the fruiting season is like any other citrus. You can see the fruit are hanging on, and they do hang on for a long time. Flowering season actually can go on over a longer period of time than many citrus, where it's really, this is somewhat late right now. We're the first of May for citrus flowering, although kumquats and things like that will be in bloom. But this has fruit, small fruit already starting to emerge on it, as well as a lot of buds uh, re-emerging. And that flowering cycle, like all lemons and limes, and etrogs or citrons can go on beyond what we normally would expect a citrus to bloom. So you can get a long period of fruiting on that, which is really a great thing in terms of fruit production. So if you're looking for a citrus to grow that's not going to get out of hand, and you're looking for something that you can eat and also has beautiful foliage to it, then this variegated Medica is for you. If you'd like more information, visit us at logies.com.